Thank you. Uh, defining improvisation. If you look up improvisation in the dictionary, you'll find it says composing, performing, or delivering without previous preparation. If you look in Wikipedia, it'll say something along the lines of the practice of acting, singing, talking, and reacting, of making and creating in the moment and in response to the stimulus of one's immediate environment and inner feelings. If you ask someone on the street, they'll say, I think it's like stand-up comedy. <laughs> Problem with all of these definitions is that they focus on the what. And for me, and for many of us in the room, improvisation isn't a what, but it is a how. It's how we do what we do. It's how we do our trainings. It's how we plan our conferences. It's how we ultimately change the world. And that's the goal, right? To heal the world, make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race, right? <laughs> we want to help our coworkers, our clients, our friends, our families, and ourselves in this world through improvisation. But we can't do that with one activity to improve ice breaking. We can't do it with one exercise that focuses on listening. We can't do it with one performance for drama therapy. These are all great examples and applications of improvisation, but they aren't things that change the world by themselves. They aren't what defines improvisation. Because to truly change the world, we have to get the world to stop thinking of improvisation as just for performance. But even more than that, we as practitioners have to stop thinking of improvisation as just for communication skills, or just for what I do specifically in my therapy program. Because improvisation isn't just for anything. It's just for everything, right? Sue Walden talked on this first day about Yes And with a wonderful presentation, talked about a ton of great ideas. And in it, she talked about there are times when Yes And isn't necessarily appropriate. And I've learned a ton from Sue. I think she's an incredible expert. But in this one area, I have to respectfully and humbly disagree. Because she gave the example of decision making or critical thinking or when there is a right and a wrong. And I believe improvisation still applies. Right? Because on my definition, if you look at the definition in the dictionary, it talks about we're not being planned. We, we don't have plan. And Mary Jane already told us about how pre pre preparation is key to improvisation. Everything that we do, we know how much we plan for these conferences, for our facilitation workshops, the number of practices that we've been in where we've gone over zip, zap, zop a thousand times. We know that planning that goes into place. And improvisation isn't just a reaction to our immediate environment, because everything that's led up to that moment, that put us in that moment of now, which is so important, is a part of that moment of now. Everything that's led up to that, our experiences, our preparation, our hard work, our feelings, our emotions, all of that is combined together in that now. And again, it's not stand-up comedy. Stop telling us that. So how do you define improvisation? When I started to create this presentation, I wanted to come up with an incredible definition. You know, I wanted to end on something so strong, so powerful, so succinct that we could write it on business cards and pass it out, and that when I said it, you guys would all cheer, and there would be flyers and streamers coming down, because like, yes, that's it. And as I've been at this conference, as we've heard an incredible discussion on what improvisation is and what it might be, I don't really have an answer. My best answer is actually a question. And that question is, what is improvisation to you? Because improvisation to me is a, a mindset. It's not what we do, it's how we do it. It's a belief. It's an embrace of this idea of yes and, where we don't believe that the world and everything that happens in it is for the best, but that we, as improvisers, can see what happens and make it better. We can see the world as it is and yes and our way to a better place. So that's my definition. And my challenge to you is to think about what is your definition of improvisation? What are you going to do with it after you have that definition? And not just in this little silo of what I've done with it before or because I'm an experienced engineer, I'm just going to apply it to that. But how do you apply it not just to anything, but everything? This entire weekend has been a fantastic experience for me. I thank you guys so much for allowing me to talk, and I look forward to talking to you in Berlin about how you've gone out 
and use improvisation to change the world. Thank you.